that's me. Yup, just a high schooler whose parents were nice enough to buy him a nice car. But that was enough to make me fall into the interest of cars and racing. So I set out on a mission to learn more about how it's done, why it's different, and what it takes. I've been into cars and racing for as long as I have been conscious. I can't remember a time in my life when I wasn't in cars and racing. Um, some of my first memories are riding in the back of my dad's car. Um, back in the day he had a 1956 Porsche 356 and I absolutely adored that car. Um, like I was saying when we were going for a drive it was, it was loud, it was a sports car. I, I thought it was fast back then. So I mean what, what little kid doesn't love a loud, fast sports car? I mean it was, it was a dream come true. One day I was driving down the highway in my mom's Ford Aerostar minivan. I saw a Corvette blast by in the fast lane at, you know, some ridiculously reckless and dangerous speed. And I wanted to know more. So I learned about Corvettes, then I learned about Ferraris, and then I just kept going from there. And uh, the first thing I ever drew, it was a car. A uh, good friend of mine, who a uh, lifelong friend who uh, wasn't uh, racing um, actually had about three or four European race cars and uh, I used to go see him every now and then at the track and got quite interested and decided uh, boy it'd be fun to actually be in the car instead of just looking at the car and being a spectator. Nobody told me to get interested in cars, I just did. I've tried water polo, I've tried basketball, I've tried soccer. I don't do water polo, basketball and soccer. I was pretty good at water polo and soccer, not basketball. But in the end, what you're passionate about is what you're going to be staying up until 2 o'clock in the morning on a school night looking, reading, reading about on the internet. There are a number of different reasons why I like this. I mean, first of all, you get to drive cars fast. Who doesn't want to drive cars fast? <laughs> I mean, well, everybody can drive a car fast, but then they get arrested. I get to do it, and if I'm not going fast enough, I get scolded. <laughs> that seems pretty great to me. My car makes a sound that would put a lion to shame. It goes faster than any living creature on Earth. It's, look at it. It's, it's gorgeous when one's on four wheels, but why not? It's it's an adrenaline rush, it's a hobby, it's a, it's a, think, it's a thoughtful man's sport because there's so many little things to consider. There's nothing like having or preparing your own car, getting on a track and it all runs, it all comes together. Um, it's really a good feeling, it's, it's a lot of fun and uh, if all goes well actually it's, uh, you know, it's a natural high, it's, it's a great, like I said, adrenaline rush. It's, um, it's a lot of fun. Part of it is a camaraderie too. Usually, um, you know, whoever's there is, is also into the cars and kind of the same uh, intentions. And so it's uh, usually a good feeling, you know, just to be around that environment. What's the point of owning a gun if you never shoot it? Tracks are the one place where you can fully unleash your car, where you can find the absolute limit of what it can do. There's all kinds of sports, of course, there's drifting, etc. Uh, people who like drag racing and so forth. I particularly like uh, driving on road courses, uh, not just going in circles like the NASCAR guys. That doesn't really, you know, bring out a lot of fun for me anyhow. But in um, any case, I, I think part of the community is just a love of uh, going fast. The big difference is, uh, and I can compare it because I'm also into tennis, uh, which is quite different than race cars, um, or just wrenching on cars as they say. Um, that isn't uh, perhaps as challenging in some respects. 
a normal person would look at that, would look at racing and think, why would you want to put your life in danger, put money in danger, just spend lots of money to begin with, just to go around a track and end up in the same place as fast as you possibly can? We would never have what we have today if there weren't so many different types of people. I think we need a good balance of both. We wouldn't have a society to live in if there weren't people who did the norm, you know, people who created businesses that give us the things that we need. Cars wouldn't exist if people like that didn't exist. But I think this world would be pretty boring if that was all we had. So I think we need a good balance. It definitely feels like a, a grown-up thing that I'm partaking in, that this isn't really something that most kids other do most other most kids my age do but i think it is a balance it's both taking those that take the chance and prove themselves as well as those that take you know the given paths if you will in life and also prove themselves so um it's it's a good combination to have both you never know what what it is that's that's going to really strike you and you're gonna and you're gonna love doing if i hadn't tried all these different things i would never have known what it was that i really live for certainly i think people should take the opportunities um, if you don't, I think you miss out on life. After I learned more about cars and racing, I decided it was time to take the next step and go out to the track and actually try it. An instructor helped me learn the lines of the track for the first few laps. Once they felt comfortable, they let me drive solo. Although I was scared, I'm glad I went out and tried it, and I hope to do it again soon. It was a day that I'll remember for the rest of my life.